In this video I am going to show you how to create a building growth effect in film or IX, like this. Hello video editors. I am Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. And today I am very excited to share a building growth effect with you. I am going to show you this effect step by step. Likewise, subscribe to our channel to create more great effects, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. So let's get started. For this you need a picture with building etc and to open this picture inside Photoshop. Click on the file above on the left side, and then on Open. Select your relevant picture, and click Open. Slightly zoom the picture, press the Z button to zoom and left click the mouse. Now we have to select the building area in the picture. Select the pen tool from the tools on the left. Select the area of the building in your picture with the left click of the mouse. To delete an additional note of the pen tool, Left click the mouse while holding the arrow on the note and pressing ALT from the keyboard. Finally, connect the end node to the start node. After merging the two nodes, right click on the area we selected, and then left click on make selection. OK. Then take the copy in a new layer of the building area by pressing the Ctrl plus J from the keyboard. So you can see that we have copied the building in a new layer. Hide the picture of the layer below. Now we have to save this part of the building. Go to Files. And click Save As. Keep the file format PNG. You can save the picture by any name. I name this file Low one Select the pen tool from the tools on the left. Then select all the hives in this building one by one. As I do. After selecting the first roof, note that the layer above is selected, and then press the delete button. So you can see that we have deleted the first roof of this building. Again I go to the file and save it. The file format is PNG, and the file name is O2. In the same way, I will delete all the roofs of this building one by one. And then I will save each picture number wise. Just keep watching.
After deleting each roof, we saved all the pictures separately and number wise. After doing all this, delete the PNG picture of the upper layer. Take the pen tool again and select the building area. After selecting, right click, make selection and then OK. Now select the spot healing brush tool. Now rub this tool on the selected area. So it will be that the building or whatever is in the relevant place will be removed. Now save this file also. Save this file in JPG format. And I keep the file name 07 according to the previous saved pictures. After saving it, you have to select the area under the sky in the picture with the pen tool. There are rooms and land in the picture with me in this area, so I am going to select it. Right click, make selection and then OK. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus I from the keyboard. So the outer area will be selected. Then double click on the layer and the lock will open. OK. Then press the delete button on the keyboard and delete the sky area at the top. Now save this file also. Save this file in PNG format. And I keep the file name 06. So with that, the work of Photoshop is over. Let's start working in Filmora X now. So now you can see that I have opened Filmora X. And import all the pictures we saved from Photoshop. First, drag the JPG picture to the timeline, in which we just removed the building. So I named this JPG image 07. And then I drag the last roof of the building into the track above the timeline, which we named 05. Then I drag the second last roof of the building into the track above the timeline, which we named 04. Then I drag the third roof of the building into the track above the timeline, which we named 03. I drag the fourth roof of the building into the track above the timeline, which we named 02. I drag the fifth roof of the building into the track above the timeline, which we named 01. Finally, drag the PNG ground section into the track above the timeline.
Now move the playhead forward for half a second. And move the picture that is named 04 to the start of the playhead. Similarly, all images of the building on the timeline above this track must be moved a further half a second from the picture of the track below. Just keep watching. Then adjust the length of all the pictures so that the last head of all the pictures is equal. Now double click on the first floor of the building which we named as 05. Go to animation and click on it, and then on customize. Add a blank keyframe to the start of this picture. Move the playhead forward by half a second. And add an empty keyframe here too. Move the playhead back to the first keyframe and select the first keyframe. And in this keyframe, this roof of the building should disappear in the picture of the ground below. You can move the picture position down with the minus Y position. And in the same way you can put keyframes in the roof of the building in the same way. In addition to the roof below, all the roofs above have to disappear in the roof below it. Keep watching. I double the duration of the roof keyframe above. OK. Now the series of keyframes is over, and now the important thing we have to do is move the picture of the track at the top, move it one track up. Remember that you have auto ripple off. And the picture which we have with the name of 05, right click on it and cut it. And paste the picture we cut from this track into the track we emptied above. Now place the playhead in the start of the picture named 01. And right click on this picture and cut it. Leave the playhead in the same place, and select the empty track below, and right click with the playhead and then paste the picture we cut. Place the playhead in the start of the picture named 04. And right click on this picture and cut it. Leave the playhead in the same place, and select the empty track above, and right click with the playhead and then paste the picture we cut. Place the playhead in the start of the picture named 02. And right click on this picture and cut it. Leave the playhead in the same place, and select the empty track below, and right click with the playhead and then paste the picture we cut. You can now delete empty tracks. And with that the building creating effect is ready. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm sure it will be helpful for you. Please like, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe. See you again with a new video. Bye.